Hey, what's up? This is Luke with harmonica.com and thanks so much for tuning in to this lesson, how to play harmonica chords. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you about what a chord is and I'm gonna teach you the I Want Candy riff. And we're gonna first uh, explore chords in first position. We're gonna do a little bit of jamming there too, which is gonna be something like this. This lesson is intended for beginners, so if you've learned how to put your lips on the harmonica, you're good to go. You don't need to know how to bend. You don't even need to know how to isolate notes in order to follow along with this video. I would recommend, however, if you didn't watch my last video, Scales for Beginners, that you check that out because when we're talking about the theory of chords, I'm going to be building upon some concepts that I introduced with intervals and numbering the major scale in the last video. So if that's foreign to you, check out that video first. All right, let's get started. Let's ask the question, what is a chord? The word harmony is defined as two or more notes being played at the same time, and the word chord is literally defined as three or more notes being played at the same time. Okay, so where do chords come from? Uh, how do we build a chord, in other words? Really very simple. We're just gonna stack three notes, but not ones that are right together. We're gonna stack thirds. So we're gonna call the bottom note the root because it's at the bottom. And then we're gonna add the third and we're gonna add the fifth. One, three, five. And when we play that together, that's a chord. When we play it one at a time, one, three, five. That's an arpeggio. And when we play it all at the same time, that's a chord. <laughs> okay? So that's all a chord is. Very simple. Any note in the scale we could use as the root of a chord, okay? So let's now talk about and just look at on the piano again how to build a chord, say, from G, the fifth note. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to call that our root. So it'll be one, three. Okay, and there's our G major chord. Okay, so now next step. In the last lesson, we learned how to number the scale intervals. Now we're gonna do something very similar and we're gonna number the chords and this is gonna be super helpful. So um, this is a really awesome thing to learn. Some people call it the Nashville numbering system because the studio musicians in Nashville all use this system. But interestingly, even classical uh, music theorists use this kind of notation as well, which is that we're gonna replace, uh, instead of calling it a C chord, we're gonna call it the one chord because it's built on the first note of the scale, okay? And same thing for G, instead of calling it a G chord, we're gonna call it a five chord because it's built off the fifth note of the scale, okay? And they're both major chords, so we're gonna use uppercase Roman numerals for one and five. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my ukulele here because it's an easy thing to grab. And here's a C major chord, which we're calling the one chord now. Here's our one chord. Now I'm gonna play the five chord. Notice what happens when I play the five chord. If I just end there, it feels incomplete, right? It wants to draw us back to, okay? And here's our first kind of uh, look into how music is about question and answer, tension and release. Okay, so this is our nice, released, comfortable place. We go to the five, it asks the question. And then when we come back to one, we have our resolution or we have the answer. All right, cool. I'm playing a C harmonica here. Mine happens to be a Lee Oscar, but any 10 hole diatonic harmonica will do the trick. For you. So let's learn how these chords lay on the harmonica, okay? And it's really very simple. And this is one of the reasons why the harmonica is such an awesome instrument because it's super easy. Okay, so it turns out that our one chord the, can be played in three places on the harmonica. We have right here in the first, second, third holes. That's, that's the one chord. From the four, five, and six blows, that's the one chord. From the seven, eight, nine holes, that's the one chord. And then the ten blow is also C. So anywhere you blow, you're going to be playing the C chord. So as long as you're blowing when, when someone's playing the one chord in first position here, then you're gonna be in great shape. Here's one, two, three. Four, five, 
four, five, six. Same chord, but up an octave. Seven, eight, nine. And then the 10 blow is also C. So anywhere we blow here is all going to be the C chord or the one chord as we're thinking of it in first position, okay? Now, if we go to the five chord, to the G, the tabs for that is going to be drawing on the two, three, and four holes, okay? So that's the two, three, four draws right there. If we draw them all together... There's our five chord. Now it turns out the one draw is just an octave below the four, and the um, and the five draw turns out as like a nice color note to add to the chord too. So really, anywhere in the first five holes, okay, that's anywhere in the first five holes is going to be great to play what we're calling the five chord when we're looking at this from first position. So I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to grab the ukulele again here and put my harmonica on and do a little first position jam. Let's check this out. Okay, now there's some really great Hawaiian songs and country songs that are just consist of only C and G. Uh, probably in every genre you can find examples of it. Um, well, we're going to do this right now. We're going to play a little bit together. And so go ahead and play along with me. I'm going to play C, the one chord, G, the five. So I'm just going back and forth from one to five. There'll be a jam track here that you can play along with too. But I'm just going to show you right now how I'll be blowing on the one, like this. That's blowing one, two, three, and then drawing on the five. And I can move to the right. Keep going. Okay, so now we're going to switch to cross harp, okay? So we're changing worlds, we're changing universes here, okay? Because when we play in cross harp on a C harmonica, we're no longer playing in the key of C, now we're playing in the key of G, which means we are now going to call G our one chord, okay? You with me? We're in cross harp now, we're in the key of G, we're playing second position. So now when we talk about the one chord, we're talking about the G chord, okay? So we already know how to play the G chord two, three, four, draw, right? And we can put the one draw in there. If we could sneak the five draw in there if it's a bluesy kind of thing. But pretty much, let's think about it as the first four holes drawing. Somewhere in the first four holes, that's going to be our one chord in this key. Okay, now if we count up from G, G, A, B, C. Okay, now C relative to G becomes the four chord, okay? So we are going to be playing from one on the G draw to four. So cross harp is where we need to be to start to bluesify our playing, right? If we're playing folk or country, it's nice to be in first position, but when we wanna start sounding bluesy, we're gonna move into second position here. Okay, so we're in the key of G, and we know that the C chord now is our four chord, okay? And it turns out, if you think about, like, when we were in first position, we were going from chord one to chord five, and five was really asking a question, and then one was providing the resolution. Okay, now in the key of G, this is our, this is our root now. When we go to the four chord, it's not asking such a strong question. In fact, this is uh, heard a lot, this kind of sound. Amen. 
you know, that's the that's the one four chord. There's actually a lot of hit songs that have been written one four, like, hey, take a walk on the wild side, uh, groove is in the heart, you can't always get what you want, ramble on, uh, stop children, what's that sound, everybody look, what's going, there's just been a ton of songs that have been, hit songs that have been written that is only one and four. It's also two of the chords in the blues progression too. Okay, Let's go ahead and learn how to play this I Want Candy riff. Okay, before we even play it on the harmonica, let's just clap the rhythm to make sure that we're feeling this rhythm. I think it's a rhythm that really comes natural. It's derived from a Cuban rhythm called the clave, um, and it's a really fun rhythm, and you'll find it in a lot of other songs too, like Ico Ico or um, The Grateful Dead has a couple songs that, that uh, use this kind of a rhythm. So I'm going to put the metronome on here and it's just it's just going to be three claps followed by two claps. As soon as I start clapping it, you're going to feel very comfortable and familiar with it, but clap along with me. So 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 This is the rhythm that we're going to be playing on the harmonica. Now, technically, if we wanted to be playing the exact voicings of the chords that I was talking about, you could play 2, 3, 4, draw, and then play 3, 4, 5, blow, like this. And that's fine. But really, like we said, you can anywhere between holes one and four, you can blow and draw anywhere in there, and it's gonna sound great. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and try this. One, two, ready, go. All right, now that is a really simple but very fun riff. Yeah. And uh, you can add, if you know how to do some hand walls already, you can add that. Um, we could also just kind of like embellish it a little bit by adding some little grace notes like this. And all I'm doing there is I'm saying ta ka ta ka ta on the draw. And then I'm doing kata on the blow and then ending with a ta on the draw. So I'm saying on the one chord, ta kata kata, and then on the four chord, kata, and then back to the one chord, ta. So. Okay, and don't forget, there's, uh, I made some jam tracks for you to play along with too at different speeds. And try it out at different speeds because um, you start slow, even if you can play it faster. See if you can play it slow. A lot of times it's harder to play it slow than it is to play it fast. It's counterintuitive, but it's true. And uh, so have fun with this. I want to just say congratulations if you've made it to this point in the video. You've learned a lot of awesome fundamentals that is going to lay a really good foundation for you to be able to build on and start getting into some blues and whatnot. But you've learned about how, to, how chords are created, which is awesome. You learned about numbering chords, which is huge. You learned uh, you got to do some jamming in first position, two chord jam in first position. And you learned a, a really fun uh, second position riff on this I Want Candy riff. So have fun with that. If you liked the video, of course, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get all the latest lessons from harmonica.com. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching this lesson. Let me know if you have any questions. Until we meet again. <laughs>
good to go. You don't need to know how to bend. You don't even know how need to. You don't need to know how to bend. You don't even need. You don't even know how need to. You don't need to know how to bend. You don't even need to know how to isolate notes in order to follow along with this video.